$2.39 a month, just $2.39. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Uh, I can't really hear yes. you. Can, can you speak up louder? Yes, yes. Now can you hear me properly? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So, sir, uh, just, I got to receive a voicemail. Uh, you are right? You are right now? So, you are receiving a voicemail from our side, right? I did what? And that's why you called you just... Yeah. Sir? The, the reason, yeah, the reason today we call you to just let you know you are under the auto renewal service and maintenance for your computer. Okay. That is the reason your money has been, yeah, your money has been charged is $399 for 99 pounds. Okay. So, and that is the reason today we, today we call you to just let you know, like, what do you want to do now with this subscription? Do you want to keep it as it is or you want to cancel the subscription and refund your money back? Well, I mean, uh, I, if it's an ongoing subscription, don't I need to keep it? I mean... So, you, yeah, it's just a confirmation phone. So once you will uh, just confirm me, then after that, we are definitely going to help you. Like, if you want to keep your service, then you can keep it. And if you want to cancel it, so we have to refund your money back, which is $399 for 99 cents. And, and how do we do that? I mean, you're just going to put it back on my... what? How did I pay? Did I pay on a debit card right. or something? All right. No, 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 no. Uh, in that purpose, in that purpose, you don't need to share any of your personal information. Let me tell you first, okay? Uh, if you want to cancel this subscription, so in order to cancel this subscription, you need to fill up a refund cancellation form, which we are going to provide you now. It's a 3D secure cancellation form. And after that, once the service will be can cancelled successfully, after that, we are simply going to refer you to refund your money back via a wire transaction. Okay? A wire transaction? That doesn't make any sense. Let, let me tell you one thing. Uh, first of all, you just need to simply tell me, like, the money, when the service will be activated for you, on that time, the money has been charged, it was the online procedure. So the, our refund procedure will be saying, in that case, in your refund your money back if you want it. So we are simply going to send you direct online into your bank account. And in that purpose, you don't need to share any of your personal information. What you have to do, you just only have to be an online banking facility. Okay? And after that, we are simply going to refund your money back with the, our online banking account. All right? It will be a direct wire transaction. In that purpose, you don't need to share any kind of personal information of yours. First of all, you only have to fill up a refund cancellation form from your end, and after that, you are simply going to refund your money back. All right? All right. What do you mean? What do you mean? And uh, first of all, let me tell you the most important part of this call. All right. This call has been recorded for training and policy purpose under the U.S. government. So, if you are going to ask any of your personal information. Uh, so we are simply going to determine that from this job because it is not allowed. Okay, because this call has been recorded under the U.S. government. Okay. Okay. So that I don't want. So please, sir, simply just. No, I wouldn't want that either. I mean, I wouldn't want you to have to lose your job by any okay. means. You know. Yeah. Okay. As I've as I've told you, sir. As I've told you that if you want your money back. So you don't have to uh, share any of your personal information, not your bank account information, not your card information, not your routing number, nothing. You don't need to share any of your information. What you have But to you do, have all my information, have, you should have everything on online. Yeah, we have the basic information. We have the basic information, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, let me tell you one thing, sir. Uh, if in this case, in order to refund your money back, we are simply going to refund your money back and you don't need to share any of your personal information. Only what you need to do, only you need to fill up a refund cancellation form with your name, number, address, your refund amount, or your bank name, or nothing. You don't need to give me any other things a part of this, okay? Not your account number, not your card details, not your anything. No, no any personal information. All right. Okay. So what do we have so, to do? Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, just simply confirm me, sir, in this auto-recorded line, what you need to do. You need to keep it or you want to cancel it. 
So then we are going to go step by step. Well, you say I need it, right? So I keep it. No, no, no. I'm just simply asking from you what you want to do now with this subscription. You want to continue with this subscription, or you want to cancel this subscription and refund your money back? Uh, just cancel it then. Whatever. Just cancel. You want to cancel? It. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. All right. So yes. So in order to cancel the subscription, uh, this, uh, you need to fill up the uh, cancellation form that I have told you before. Okay. So first of all, sir, just be in front of your computer or a laptop, then we are going to provide you the cancellation form. Okay. All right. Well, I'm in front of my computer now. Okay. And can you please tell me what exactly you can see on your computer screen? Um, just uh, my icons and my picture. Okay. And can you please tell me, sir, uh, do you have a Google Chrome? Yes. Just open up your Google Chrome. Okay. All right. And uh, now look on the very top. Okay, look on the very top on your computer screen. You can get to see the white long address bar, the white search panel, right? Um. Yeah. Yes. So what we are going to do, we are going to provide you the, our official website. You need to type on this address bar. So just simply type over there. E as a eight word. E. Yes, then A as an alpha. Yeah. S as in sugar. Yeah. Y as in yellow. Yeah. R as in Romeo. Yeah. E as in eight word. R E. Yes. Then F as in father. Yeah. U as an umbrella. Yeah. N as in Nancy. Yeah. D as in Delta. Yeah. Dot. Dot. M as in Mexico. M. E as in neighbor. E. Now, could you please repeat back to me what you type over here? Easy refund dot me. Exactly. Now simply hit enter from your keyboard. Okay. Now, can you please tell me what comes up after that? Uh, it's loading up right now. All Premium right, support and uh, your phone number. Exactly. Now, just look over there. Just beside that, you can see the two computers, one for Mac and Windows. You can see that. What is this? Uh, the, compu well, yeah, just, the computer picture, right? Just yeah. One, uh, and just beside. Hold on, I just, just clicked on the refund the policy picture. here. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Give a click on home. You don't need to give a click on refund policy. First of all, it will be that. Oh, I just want to read it. Step. I was just checking out the website here. Yeah, it refund. will be take you by the step by step. Okay, so first of all, you need to okay. come back to the home. Come oh, back well, to the I will. I will store partners. Sorry? I'm just looking at your partners. Your store partners Nordstrom, yeah. Target, yeah. Best Buy, Apple. Walmart. Yeah, it's our store partner. Yeah, it's just our store partner. All right, and just beside and you can service see our status. Yeah, and just you can come back to the home again. First of all, first of all, come back to the home. Come okay. Back to the home. It will be take you to step by step. So first of all, come back to the home. I'm back at home. Okay. Yeah. And over there, can you see it says premium support, right? It's a premium support corp, a yeah, 500 open up, open up fortune the, uh, company. You premium support, right? It's in the home page. You're a 500 fortune yeah. company? That's great. Yeah. yeah, and just beside that. Okay, yeah. it says Windows, and Mac. Page, you can get to see the two buttons. Windows and Mac. Yes, yeah. can you see the two buttons? It's yeah. Page, and just beside it's written over there. Choose your op yeah over there you can see it's written over there. Choose your operating system and click on the button above. Can you see something is written like that? Windows. I clicked on Windows because I have Windows. Yeah, just give a click on Windows. And once you give a click on Windows, give a look on the very extremely left hand side bottom corner. Can you see the uh, anydex.txt? 
It says this type of file can harm my computer. Do I want to keep any desk exe? I don't want to hurt my computer. All right, keep it. All right, any desk exe, Sorry? yeah. I see any desk exe, yeah. Yeah, just open it. Just open it. Okay. Yeah, just open it. Yeah. First of all, just open up that. Yeah, do you want to run this you file? Comes up next, let, do let me. Sorry? It's, it's asking me to run the file. Yeah, can, can you see something that says run, except allow? Yes, okay. yes, I can. In what what you can see? What I, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? What option is there? What can you see? Can you please tell me? It says this desk, your desk can be accessed with this address and a, and a number, remote desk. What's wrong with your phone? I can't hear you. No. Hello? Hello? Are you there, sir? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Now... You can see over there, it says this desk, right? Right. And just beside, you can see the ID number, which is provided by the Microsoft to help you to refund your money back. Right. First of all, just confirm me this, just confirm me this ID number. 9526845870. What is this? It's, uh, sir, it's the ID number, which is provided by the Microsoft. And it will be help you to refund your money back. Okay, it's a very secure ID number. It will be give you the cancellation form. With the help of this ID number, you will get to see the cancellation form. Okay. It okay. will get you to connect with. Yeah, it will be help you to connect you to our secure server. So once you can see any option, it says accept dual admin or anything allowed. Another person would like you to access you to accept accept. Yeah. Now, before that, you can see it says, I aware with this risk, right? Just give a click on that, I aware with this risk. Give a click on that. Um, and after that, give a click on accept. Hold on a minute. Sir, do it faster because it's a server page. You need to, uh, don't take more time in this page because it's a secure software, software page, okay? Just uh, simply give a click on I aware with this ring and after that give a click on accept. Um, do it. Yeah, you need to do it faster this thing because it's a software page. You can get to see the seconds on the accept button. Five seconds, it will really give you the five seconds. So first of all, give a click on I aware with this ring and after that give a click on accept. It will be comes up again for you. It do all it, it all disappeared. Now what comes up? Hello? Um, the security Hello. warning. Oh, it's back. Yes, right, accept? Yeah, accept. It's not letting me do anything. I'm pressing the button. Oh, there it goes. What? I you keep a click on accept. Yeah, and now accept? Yes. Now you are successfully connected with our secure server. Now just minimize this uh, any desk space. Minimize this any desk space. What do you want me to do? Just uh, minimize this space, okay? Okay. Yes. Now do one thing. Open up a new tab. Open up a new tab on your Google Chrome. Okay. Now just type there uh, www.refund. Up the top? All right. Now hold on. I will be giving you the website. It will be help you to cancel the subscription. So just hold on a second, okay? And uh, can you please tell me, uh, do you remember what is your refund amount? No, I don't know. All right, okay. Just do one thing. Go come back to the prime the premium support. Come back to the premium support. Okay. Okay. Now give a click on refund policy. Refund policy. Yeah. Okay. And you can get to see the all the op options, all the refund policy options. 
Yeah, it says Premium okay. Support Corp is a 500 yeah. fortune company. Yeah. Yeah. What now is this? You can get to see. Yeah, give a click on I'm aware of this risk. Give a click on I'm aware of this risk. Okay. And then give a click on accept. All right. Now minimize this page. Any debt? Now. Just uh, give a look on the very bottom. Just scroll down a little, page a little bit. You can see the online banking transfer, direct deposit in card, PayPal service refund. You can get to see all the three refund ways. Yeah. This is three refund ways. You, it will be help you to refund your money back. We have a three ways, and we have a ba we have an online banking account with this great business. All right. Okay. okay. This will be the JP Morgan Hughes business. Okay. It's a good refund. We are going to, uh, if you want the online banking transfer, so we are going to refund your money back with the JP Morgan Chase. All right. And the second option is direct deposit in card. All right. And the third option is PayPal. All right. So do you do, uh, do you use PayPal? No. No. Okay. So in, in which way you want to refund your money back? First of all, let me tell you one thing. Online banking transfer is the easiest and the simple way, and it's still the faster way to refund your money. Okay? It says here that I'd rather have it on my card, but it says this service is currently out of service. We apologize for okay. this inconvenience. What does that okay. mean? Uh, it, I, I mean, I'd like direct deposit, because yeah. that's what I paid yeah, you on. I, I paid you on no, my you card. Oh, okay, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it's once we are going to cancel the subscription, after that, I'm going to connect your call to our accounts department manager and he will be help you to refund your money back. So do one thing, minimize this page and come back to the home screen. Okay? Minimize this page. Minimize? Yeah, just simply minimize each and everything and come back to the home screen. I did minimize. Did it, uh, now uh, minimize your any debt. Minimize, okay. Yes. Now, can you uh, just be handy with a piece of a paper and a pen? Um, okay, what do I need that for? All right, just be handy with a piece of a paper and a pen. Okay. All right, and uh, first of all, just write down my name. All right. All right. Just Hello? Yeah. Yeah, just write down my name. My name is Alex Ran. Alex? Ran, R-Y-A-N. Just A write down in the piece of a paper. Alex write down Ram, in the piece yeah. of a paper. Yeah, write down in the piece of a paper. Okay. Just handy with a piece of a paper and a pen. I got and it, Alex Ram. Yeah, and just write down my employee ID number. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Just write down my employee ID. Yeah. Write down my employee ID number. W S in this key. Yeah. As in Charlie. Can you speak up louder? I can't hear you. It's C as in Charlie. Yeah. P as in Peter. Yeah. Then zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. One. Yeah. Again, zero. Okay. Now you can get to see an option comes up on your screen. It says accept. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes yes. to this computer? Allow, yes. Yes. Do I? Yes. Okay. What's with these security? Give a click on accept. There is no accept. So what is there? What option is there? Just premium the support, allow. corp, uh, allow access, allow access. I don't have anything that says allow access. So, what do you can get? What do you can see? Can you speak up louder? There's something wrong with your phone. All right. All right. Now, can you hear me properly? Yes. 
All right. Now, have you got my employee ID number? Yes. All right. It's WS. What is this? Log me in installer. Yeah. What is this? It's a secure software. It will be help you to protect your computer. You don't have to worry about it. Our technician will be working into your computer to secure your computer. All right. Okay. It will be help you to protect your computer. Now, can I'm going to repeat back my employee ID number again. Just you just check it down. It's W as in whiskey, C as in Charlie, P as in Peter, zero, 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 one, again, zero. Right, I saw that. All right. All right, just write down your refund amount. Do you know how much is your refund amount? No, I don't. Three ninety nine something? Yeah, three hundred and ninety nine dollars for ninety nine cents. Okay. All right. And, and it's all around in four hundred dollars. Okay. And and so this is your four hundred dollar is your refund amount. Okay. And let me tell you one thing. And and if you want to cancel the subscription, so that's the reason you have to pay the penalty, which is three hundred dollars extra for you. All right. So your refund amount, your total refund amount is seven hundred dollars. Just write it down. Three hundred dollars is a penalty charge. Okay. Seven hundred dollars. Okay. Seven, yeah, seven hundred dollars. Right. Okay. Okay. So, have you got the refund amount? What is your refund amount? I wrote here seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Now, just uh, just write down our security number. Okay, if you are facing any kind of problem, you need to call me on that number, okay? Uh, and after that, our technician will be simply help you. So just uh, write down my number. Okay. Okay. It will be directly connected you to our technical department. So just write down the number, which is 304. Okay. 774. Okay. Five eight three seven. Okay. Okay. Can you please uh, repeat back to me again? Three zero four seven seven four five eight three seven. Exactly. Okay. Just give a click on accept, sir. Give a look on your screen and give a click on accept. Just uh, simply give a look on your screen, computer screen, and give okay. a click on accept. Okay. Yes. Now accept. Give a click on accept again. Give a click on accept again. Accept. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Now, the bullshit this guy's slinging is ridiculous. Second, Absolutely I'm ridiculous. Now, I'm simply going to connect your call to our account department manager and he will simply help you to refund your money back. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to confirm your mobile number. You just need to match it down that it is right or it is wrong, okay? You want what? All right, sir. Just, uh, just match it down, which is 603. Yeah. Hello? 4104. Is it correct? Yeah, that's my phone number. Yeah. Yeah. And a, a part of this number, do you have any alternative number? No. You don't have any alternative number, right? And it's a landline or it's a cell phone? Cell phone. It's your cell phone number. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it. So just hold in a second, sir. Give me a, a time of two minutes, okay? Just give me a two minutes, then I will be saying you hello again. Just give me a two minutes, let me have some word with my account department manager. All right, just hold down. Okay. Oh, give him two minutes, huh? Boy, the bullshit that this dude is slinging. All right. So what you need to do now, sir, you just need to simply hand the call from your end. And within a 10 seconds, my account department manager, he will be called you, okay? Within 10 seconds. Why, why do I... He's going to call me right back? 
Yeah, because they are simply trying to refund your money back. That's why our account department manager will be calling you right now within a 10 seconds. So once you hang up this call, once you hang up this call from your end, and after this call, you will get a receive a new call. You need to receive a new call. Okay. All right, within a, within a 10 seconds. And this call is from a manager. The, once the new call will come, will come from my manager, okay? He will be helping you to refund your money, okay? Okay. So once once I will tell you to hang up this call, you just need to simply hang up and receive a new call. So first of all, just minimize each and everything and come back to the normal desktop screen. Minimize, okay. It's minimized. All right. Now once I will tell you to hang up this call, you just simply hang up, okay? Okay. All right. Just hold on a second, sir. Let me add you a word. I'm holding on to hang up. Go figure, huh? These guys are a bunch of real mopes. He's trying so hard, he thinks he's got a live one. What is this? Yes, now just hang, hang, hang up. up. By your, yeah, just hang up and receive a new call within a 10 seconds. Okay. All right, so I hung up. And let's receive this new call. And, oh, here we go. Yes, hello. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Well, maybe he'll call back. I don't know why it didn't connect. Huh, so they got me and logged me in. They got me in all kinds of stuff here trying to do their scam. But they are not calling back. There we go. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. If you can hear me, I don't know what's going on. I can't hear you. I'm just going to refresh my text now. And see if it's that. And of course, it's not refreshing. Here it goes. Oh, what a pain in the balls. It's not refreshing. Hurry up, text now. Sorry, everybody. Oh, there, there it is. I don't know what's going on here. Here we go. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, there we go. You called like three times. I didn't hear anything. Yes. Uh, yeah, my name is Max Robertson and I'm the manager of here. How are you doing? Doing okay. Okay. Like, uh, right now we're just going to refund the money of yours and one of my colleagues has just explained you everything about the refund, right? Right. And you're going to receive the money right now. 
So first of all, can you just confirm me? Uh, first of all, I'm just going to open a notepad for you. You can just write down all the information about you, okay? Okay. First, just let me just make it big for you. What? So you're gonna bring me to a website or something? I'm gonna fill out a website. form. Website, and you have to fill the form. Who said to you? That's what he said. I'm gonna have to fill a form. Okay. So. Write your name. What is this? This is just Notepad. You this is not. This is not a form. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you need to write down your name, the refund amount. Put my name. All right. I mean, I thought yeah. you had all that. Your full name. Your full name. White. What? Why do you keep changing the numbers? Sorry. Okay. There's my name. That was weird. I couldn't type. Different letters were typing. What is face? See what I mean? Hello, sir? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes, hello? Mm -hmm. hello? 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 Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what happened. We got disconnected. Okay, you just tried the refund amount? Refund amount? I think it was three ninety nine, yeah. right? Yeah. It won't let me. There it is. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, record the information. So now what do you have to do? I'm just going to open my website in your computer. What do you mean? You just got my name and the amount what is what, what was that all about sorry 
You just had me write my name and the refund amount on my notepad. I don't understand yeah, that's why. It. That's it. Okay. We were just confirming whether you are just copying with the right one or not. Oh, can you just see my official website right can yeah it says premium support uh, corp here. can you see 500 an fortune company right can you see an option say click here to see a uh, refund policy can you see yeah very down of the page in a black color okay just try to give a single click on it try to give a click on it okay now can you just see there will be an uh, option to receive the money from us it says like a money back hundred percent guarantee right you're going to direct deposit it right in my visa card no we are not be able to uh, change the money Visa card, they just read it out the first one. It says the online banking transfer, the Chase. Okay, yeah, I, I don't I don't have Chase. No, 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 you don't have to be have a Chase, okay? Uh, like we have an account with the Chase and we are going to send you the money uh, to any of the banks, okay? Right. It's located in the United States of America, okay? Okay, so yeah, so you're going to send it to the, simply going to the file yeah. you have on like record. Sorry? You just send it right to the file you have on record, right? How long is this going to take? I've been on the phone with you guys for like a half an hour. I mean, this it is... It's hard to take five minutes. Give me five minutes, almost done. Now, what do you have to do? You can just delete out the terms and conditions. Oh, uh, written over here, this one. Highlight it with a blue color. Can you just see over there? Yeah, it says receive money in minutes, the fastest and most secure way to receive money. And you do not provide any bank information as is against our company law. Right. You are not going to give me any kind of information. What you are going to do, you are going to do with your computer. Okay. So what you have to do, like uh, right now, we are going to transfer the money from our Chase bank to your bank. And first of all, can you just let me know, like, do you do online banking with your bank? No, I, I got scammed <laughs> once, so I'm afraid of hackers and fraudsters. You got a scam? Yeah. So I don't. I go to the bank now. I don't do any online banking. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen to me. You don't have to get worried about anything. Like what we are going to do, we are just uh, going to transfer the money in your bank account. And once you're gonna confirm, we like match that we receive the money, and then everything will be get done. You can just sign up your bank account, and everything will be get done. That's it. Apart from that, you don't have to do anything. You have to just confirm me whether you have received the money or not. Okay. So, uh, what is the name of your bank? Just tell me, what is the name of your bank? Uh, bank of America. Okay, you can just type it from your end. Why? Top. We are going to make you register uh, for the online banking for the one time and then you will going to receive the money. You don't do online banking, you said to me, right? No, I don't. Okay, I'll help you out to get the money. You will? Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm sure, okay. Bank... Okay, Bank of America. Now what? And the first options, can you see? Yeah. <coughs> I'll do it for you. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, do you have online ID and the password? No. You have? No. You don't have. Okay. No problem. No problem. Uh, what I do? Can you see at the right hand side? It says like not using online banking. I'm not. I'm now. not signing up for online banking. No. No, you are going to sign up for the one time. Okay. No. You are going to make you sign up for the one time. No, I'm not. Pu I'm not putting my social like security. Seven. I've been scammed seven, before. Whatever. I've been no scammed problem. before. Just I don't want to put my social security. Then. Okay. Okay. Listen to me. First, I'm just going to put the SSL number. Will you be able to read me out any kind of a numbers what I have typed in there? 
can you just read it out to me? Any numbers which is written over there? Any numbers? There's no numbers. I'll just write it down over there. Just hold on. Can you just read me out? I'll just type the account number, the last six digits of your account number in the place of that. I have just typed some numbers over there. Can you just read me out the numbers? Can you read me out the numbers, please? I'm sorry. What numbers? For what? What I have wrote it down over here. I can't see Why numbers. I only see stars. Yes. Because it is against the law for company, sir, and it is against the law for United States of America as well. Okay, whatever you're going to type is going to be shown in the stars. Okay. okay. Oh, so you won't whatever see it. Whatever you're going to type, no, anybody will not be able to see any stuff. You are the person who can be able to see any stuff. What All you're right. Going to type in so there. what I got to put in there? Yeah. So my last, my last your, digits of my account number and my social. Right. First, you have to write there six digits of your account number. Last six digits. Okay. Type there. Okay. And my social security. Yeah. Over here. Right. Wait a minute. Okay. And then click on continue. Continue. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it says the enter the uh, six digit number is wrong. Your account last six digit number. You need to That's what I just put in there. Or the card number. Or the card number. Can you see six card or account? Last number? digits. Last six digits. Last digits. If you want, you can use your uh, card, your debit card. No, I, I feel comfortable just the last six digits. Not comfortable? What happened? It's no, I just feel comfortable with the last six digits. I don't want to put the whole okay. thing. Okay, but it says it's wrong. I don't know what to tell you. That's happening. On, that's on your side, not my side. No, no, it's not from my side. It has to be from your side. It's not my side. I put in the correct numbers. It's not. This is not a company's official website. This is a bank. Well, I don't know. Website. I don't know. I don't do online banking. I don't know. Listen to me. Listen to me first. What I'm trying to tell you, listen to me. I'm just trying to tell you, this is your bank page and your bank is verifying you whether you are the right person or not. Right. Okay? So I put it in there, the last so digits. That is the reason they are not accepting. You are putting the wrong information. So that's why they are not accepting That's you. not my fault. I don't know what this is. This is your fault, you not my fault. Like in the last card or account number only. I did. It's only numbers. I did. You do one thing. You just carry your card, okay? Carry your debit card and put the last six-digit number. That's it. One, two, three... Four, it's five, six. Like the assistant number is wrong. The assistant number is right. Apart from the assistant, the only support. I'm sorry. What you're breaking up? Sir, it seems like you are typing the wrong numbers. No, I just there. type the right numbers. Can you see it says like highlighted with a blue color? It's wrong. If you will try to keep a click on continue. You will not be able to get up uh, another page. Well, that's on your side, not my side. I don't know. Oh, my God. If you do one thing, just carry your debit card. I have my debit card right here. Okay. Okay. Carry your debit card and write it down the last six digits of your debit card. The last six digits of my debit card. Okay. I just yeah. did. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I counted four, the five, six, six numbers. Okay. Okay, you do one thing, just type it from the beginning, this one. 
the whole well, the whole card well. no no not the whole card i'm talking about the assassin and the uh, card number the last six digits oh there it is how okay i got it the right yeah it's eight 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 nine eight eight nine. The last four digits. Just type you. Just type you, SSM. Eight eight nine eight eight nine. So, in the game, sorry. In the game, Okay. Never will happen. Same number, never will happen. I told you I'm not good. I don't want to be online banking. Sir. Can you just let me know, like, uh, what will be the last six digit of your account number? Eight eight nine eight eight nine. And what will be the last six digit, uh, digit of your card? That was the last four, last six digits is eight eight nine eight eight nine. I'm talking about the card. Card. That's the last four card. digits on my card, right here, in my hand, my card. Okay, and what will be the last six digit of your account number? Oh, I don't know what the account number is. That's just what's on my card. Okay, carry your account number. Carry I don't know what my account number. I'm not going to put my account number in there. No. There's got to be another way. Okay, okay. Tell me, like, uh, what will be the card number, the whole number? The whole number. Tell me. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm starting to get suspicious now. Now you have to just listen to me, sir. You are putting the wrong information. So I'm just. No, I to put in the right information. I don't want to waste you... your time, and, and I don't want to waste my time as well. I was just trying to transfer the money. Why are you getting so angry, Marichod? Are you working hard, Chutia? It was the radio station. Huh? Are you working hard? Are you getting angry, Chutia? Ben Chod. Are you getting angry? Why are you getting so angry, Chutia? Hey, Balwa. Hey, Gandu boy. You Bihari. Hey, Teddy Maka Chod. Teddy Maka Lord. Teddy Maka Lund. Here's your papa. Chutia, here's your papa. Teddy Makichut, Bosarike, fucking piece of shit scammer. It's your father, motherfucker. <laughs> You got nothing to say now? <laughs> I'm trying to look at my camera. Go look at my camera. <laughs> ben Chod. He's such a little chutia boy. Getting all angry. Are you getting angry? He was getting angry. Ah, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's having a hissy fit. He's having his little hissy fit. <laughs> what do you want to do? What are you going to do there, chutia boy? What are you going to do? Huh? 
password. <laughs> uh, let's give him the finger. Oh, he's got me locked out. He's got me locked out. So funny. Uh, nothing to say. Nothing to say. Let's call him back. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, hello. Yeah, what happened? Hello. Hey, hello. How you doing? Yeah. So the guy's on my computer. What is he doing? What is he trying to do? Chutia Botrike. What is he trying to do, Gandhi boy? Benkelore. What are you doing, Benkelore, Biari? Give me my refund, Biari, from your mother on GB Road. Your Randy mother. Your Randy mother. Are you angry? Are you are you feeling like uh, almost like uh, complex with Biari? You are a little bihari with broken sandals. You're poor. Hey, yo, man, I'm not a bihari person. I'm a nigga person. You're a little broke bihari. I don't know that you want to change man. Look at you guys. You can't even do anything on the computer. You're so stupid. Why? You are so smart. We cannot do anything in the computer. I am smarter than you'll ever be. I'm smarter than you'll ever be. Yeah, you are confident enough. Oh, I got confidence. Yeah, yeah, I got lots of confidence. Chutia boys. You can't do anything. And you get all angry. You get all angry and pissed off. You're so stupid. Gandu boy. <laughs> What's he going to do now? Oh, the little, little, little babies. Huh? Oh. The little baby's upset. Are you upset? What are you trying to do? Uh, what are you trying to do? Little boy's upset. Always looking at the pictures now. Looking at my pictures. Oh, she's sexy, huh? Got me locked out looking at the different pictures of the Indians. And... Oh, I love Pakistan. That must really piss them off. <laughs> looking at the pictures. Look at them going through the pictures. Uh, it's so funny. Let me see if I can get him on another phone. Let me see what I can do here. He can't do anything. Just looking around, an empty VM. Look at the downloads. He's gonna go. He's gonna look at his little Bihari brothers.
<laughs> He's having fun. Oh, there's our little Indian guy. <laughs> So you guys, you see the lengths that these guys go to and how frustrated they get and start yelling at you. Have their little temper tantrums. I don't think he's going to be able to do much more. He's, unless he starts opening up everything that's on my uh, home screen. But I don't think so. I mean, I'm locked out of anything I can do on my computer. He's locked me out. It's pretty sad they can get the power to do that. So, uh, oh, where is he going to go now? What is he going to do now? What's he going to do? What's the poor boy going to do? I don't think he knows what to do. He's still trying to change my password. It just shows you. And it's funny how every time he looks at the documents it says right there right in his face fuck you scammer <laughs> so he's just trying to mess with my computer not knowing that it's a VM yet just showing you how stupid he is we'll continue here if you'd like I guess and we'll see how stupid he is and see what he does but he doesn't know what he's doing. His mouse is going everywhere, system settings, and he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So it just shows you their fake website there with all the Best Buy and Target and the, uh, the 500 Fortune Company. <laughs> 500 Fortune. Definitely funny 500 Fortune. And uh, the lengths that they go to to try to to uh, get your money and how frustrated they get when they can't so I don't know what this guy's gonna do right now there's nothing not much he can do he's just playing around doing a whole lot of nothing maybe he's gonna try to sis key me again he's trying to put in reset password but I don't know why he can't find anything here Reset com. I don't know what that means. Computer, maybe he's trying to look for reset computer. He doesn't know. He has no idea of what he's doing whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Change my Windows password. Uh, removal media. See, he can't do anything. There's no drive. Uh, you can't do nothing. Just the poor boy from the village. Um, I hope the sound quality came out okay on this. But, uh, yeah. He's just roaming, trying to figure shit out. And there it goes. And it logged off. On its own. And shutting down. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.